Okay, so these are, I don't know where Lake Genevieve is probably in Wisconsin, a bunch, it sounds like a Yankee city. So that's, that's probably where, but, sh but I think we, we started this one yesterday. Um, yeah, yeah, yesterday. So we picked a, a listing, I think uh, Jeremy picked this one to test it out, which is again, it's that exact city, homes for sale in there. That's gonna be what, that's kind of the, the hot button. That's a ticket, honestly, because think about it. If you're scrolling down your news feed, you're just looking around and you know you might see uh, first class real estate, right? <clears throat> and then a cool house. You might do it, but you know, hey, this is a real estate company, you know, or, or who's first class, right? Even that much. With this, they're just thinking this is pretty broad, homes for sale, hey, let's check it out. So once they click on that ad, which is this picture, and it, it says some, you know, the ads itself is a little bit different. It then, um, they click it and immediately just drops it into Messenger. It's not like a redirect, it's not um, anything else. So it drops it into Messenger and then the conversation begins and it's like, hey, you know, welcome to this address, click here for, for details. So you can see that this guy, uh, this girl wasn't quite the smartest to click here for details, but she started saying, hey, can I schedule a show? Which shit, I'll take that any day over, over hitting that. So uh, I'm interested, can you tell me more? So then she must have she must have clicked on the site and grabbed the URL herself because it doesn't look like we, well, no, actually we did this. So with this particular one, um, they would have put on it on the site or whatnot, but our response is these bots are what's going on. So all the bots I'm about to show you, we, we've kind of changed um, because we were going to go to do more video, but we decided to try a few different things uh, with it. But those, everything in blue, like it was just kind of automated. Like it says, Charles, like that's just kind of going off on its own um, with it. So we have these pre-populated things and what this does is this just, if you're out showing a house, this just like prolongs it. You know, we're not trying to make this get you, get you the showing or get you anything else. We're just, hey, we want to let you know we're here. Hey, we forgot about you type of thing. But to really make this successful is to jump all over it. So that's kind of what happened. So I want to go and show you a few that I was screwing around with this morning um, to, this is a cool one. So the shoker came in, he hit view details. Um, would you like to schedule a showing? You know, I, I don't know, if, I think the property's pulled up, but they already went away on here. Uh, he said, no thanks, just looking. So then this, the bot started taking care, taking over. Um, this might've been actually the agent here, that's pretty cool. She might've jumped in there. Um, but so Ari owned a home, I'm just comparing. So what I'm gonna show you here is, Look how freaking long this conversation is. It's about BS though, right? But we're just continuing just to be cool, answer these questions, come to find out he's got a house, he's uh, put a lot of money into it, you know? So now we know we got a freaking seller that just put money into it, but he's looking around and his whole hangup is, hey, where am I gonna live, my car? You know, he doesn't, he, he knows the market because he's probably paying attention. So this is just what we keep going. Gotcha, makes sense. If you want to up-to-date CMA, that kind of stuff. So this is like a cool, we grab this, we know it's a seller, it's a nurture. If we want to get crazy, we can go find this joker's info. We can just pull on tax rolls. There's other things I can show you how to skip trace, uh, but we can we can get that info um, to do that. But that's just kind of how, if you want to really be successful with this, it's just screwing around, texting with them, not closing hard. And I'll show you a few that we did close hard. Uh, can I see the pictures? Then they, so they want, automatically when they go into messenger just so y'all know there's a couple second delay before the bot kicks in that says welcome you know so it's not like they go in here and this is already waiting on them you know this is a whole new conversation so that's why you'll see them sometimes hey how can i see the pictures and i bet you right after that she she saw this pop up or right when she was typing then clicked it uh then it, again it goes here goes to the agent's website so they can click it they can see more, whatever. We kind of try to want them to go to that site and let them look around more um, because then if they sign in, you got you got them in KV Core. Because right now, th this can't funnel 
this can't photo. Chance, how many times do you want to keep coming back and in? <laughs> I have to keep admitting them in. So you want to uh, just be able to get them to that website. They log in, awesome. But this is not really what it is because these, these people are just kind of browsing around. They see a cool house. The next thing you know, they're instantly in a conversation. They're like, what the heck just happened? Where it, it hopefully we were, we're jumping in fast enough. So it's like a real type of conversation. So that's, that's the key is to, you know, make it just seem so chill and give them instant gratification. Um, there's one in here that, uh, let me see if this was the one. So, okay, so this was going on. Okay, so again, this is a cool conversation. This is an ideal conversation. If you guys do this shit right here, you'll kill it on this. If you're going after kill shots right away, this won't be good because you're catching them off guard. But which is good is they're going to engage in this because it's it's kind of relaxed. They can they were on the site while you're going to be messaging them or later on the day, um, and you'll start to notice that with all these. But so this just kind of happened. The bots took over. Um, talking about looking in 320 or that particular product too much. Cool. What's your budget? Uh, we have six other. So, okay. So what's your budget? Uh, I can put out a search for you to say. So again, if this was the agent, I'm not talking, you know, this, I'm just being real. Like there's nothing wrong with what you did, but this is how you kind of want to approach these is that, that to me is that's a typical agent. I can put out a search and send you listings that come on the market. What agent can't do that? Every single agent on this call can go in KV Gore and set it up. So what that means is every time this, this buyer is going on another website or talking to another agent, they're saying the same crap. So we got to be different and, and cooler and, and be salesy, but relaxed. That, hey, what's, what's, what's your budget? And I'll show you how I found out other people's budget on here, but it's got to be a very relaxing, you know, transition so and i use this a little bit on other stuff is so if i'm going to go watch a movie tonight i'm like man i'm chilling i just kind of watching cable and i feel like watching a movie now you know everyone here probably goes to netflix because if you go to like tnt or the movie channel there's going to be commercials there's something interrupting your movie right and you hate it you're going to talk trash about it oh this commercial stupid i saw this so many times you're not happy with it because you got interrupted, right? But if you're on Netflix and you know how, let's say you're, you're searching or in between episodes, they play clips of something cool that you might like, who talks trash about that? I sometimes will watch them before I go to the next episode or before it repeats. So what I'm getting with this is if we can make that like a real laid back, non, uh, hey, jump in your face, I can do this for you, I can do that. It, it'll go so smooth. And what's, what you'll start to notice is during all of our, our testing of this, they start to come back to you. You're, you'll be just chilling, forgotten about them almost. And all of a sudden they just come back. Hey, Charles, what's been going on? Or, hey, Charles, I found this house. Or, hey, this, because they know that they're not going to get weird or, or interrupted or pushed around or, or kind of sold too hard. So if you can keep that mindset with this and throw every real estate idea you have out and go more to a, of a, tech customer service type, you'll do well. Enough of the rambling though. So we had, so like I went in here and I said, hey, we got three, we got six other listings ranging from 205 to 315. Because he said right here, 320, but might be too much. Well, I don't really know his freaking price range. I'm not going to ask it. You know what I'm going to do is entice him to freaking tell me. So I told him right here, I got six. And guys, I'll tell you, I don't live in Wisconsin. So I don't even know if there's six listings in there, but that is intriguing to them. Oh, dude, he's got six more because it's that market, right? So ranging from 205. Now, here's the thing. I'm not lying. I guarantee you I could go somewhere in Wisconsin on the MLS and find six houses in that price range. So it's not that we're, we're being deceitful or, or tricking them, whatever. We're letting them know what's out, like what, what they want. So boom. And then it says, hey, I can send you a list uh, of them if you'd like. Uh, yeah, that'd be fine. I say, okay, uh, what's a good email? You know, that's, that's whatever. And then he gave it to me. I said, got it. So th this is a, another kind of little trick because now look, we, we, kind of, we kind of didn't get a ton of motivation, you know, right? So that's okay, but we got the conversation. 
So price range, we kind of got it. I, I, this is good enough for me. Then I'm kind of trying to dig at the location right here. Those are the three most important things. Motivation, price, and location. That's all you should care about as a buyer's agent. If you're looking at everything else, it's gonna, you're going to struggle because you're going to be focused on the wrong things. So with that being said, hey, do you like it? He says, no, thanks. So now this Lake, Lake Genevieve, that's probably his spot. You know, so we need to go send a list of it uh, after this. But um, so, okay, here's a great example. So this is a, another one that you can, you can mess with too because you're going to get rent to own, uh, you know, lease purchase rent to own. You're going to come across those. Um, and some rentals, you're not going to get a ton of rentals this way, but if you do, we try to convert them. So I don't know if you guys use Home Partners of America, Divi, Ribbon, whatever state you're in. If you don't know what I just said, you need after this call, you need to go research that because you're missing out on a shit ton of money. Those programs right there will dominate for this where you, we make 3%, 3 commission immediately. So even if it's a lease purchase, we bring that buyer to them, they buy the house, that's 3% to us. So those things you have to utilize when it comes to these and, and think outside the box. So uh, again, same property, um, are there any new properties available? Um, and this, this is probably the system that, that does it automatically because when they jump in like that, uh, which that's another thing we tweak, but um, there are, there's quite a few new properties available. I can email you a list if you'd like. So that's what I kind of did. That was me jumping in there. And then, yeah, that would be nice. Are there homes for rent? I'm looking to rent or buy. My balance is 150K. So, okay, no problem. Uh, I'll check and see. Reynolds area, uh, do you know? I do know one of our, so here's a cool one. Okay, okay, no problem. I will check to see what rentals are available. I could care less about rentals. I'm not checking, but I'm giving them what they want. He kind of asked about rent or buy. So that tells you right there, the rent is a little bit more in his mind than the buy because he put it ahead of this. So, okay, cool. So I'm going to give him what he wants. I'll check rentals. I'm not checking rentals, guys. There's no, there's no need. What I'm going to do here is try to either get him pre-approved or try to get him at least purchase if there is. That 150 is going to be hard for at least purchase. Most uh, home partners and other ones are around 200, um, but, but that's fine. We can just see if we can get him maybe FHA loan. So um, I do know of these purchase companies around the 175, I'll check their inventory. Uh, what email address do you mean send these to? So I, I have no intentions of checking rentals. Um, I don't know any of these purchase companies in Wisconsin, especially around 175, but I'm giving him everything that he wants. I'm not telling him that the property's unavailable. I'm not telling him he can't do this. He's got to do this. There is no stipulations I'm giving him. I'm like, take it, dude. I get, here you go. Let's go get the uh, whatever you want. I'm here for you because this is just a conversation. This is just texting. So when you do that, boom, he gave me this. Hey, that's my wife's email. I'll look at it later. Okay, I'll be back in the office this afternoon. I'll send them to you. Again, I hit the location up. I slide this in. Anything else I should include in the other areas besides Lake Geneva? And um, boom, he starts giving me, I live right here now. Oh, shit, perfect. Keep it coming, dude. I'd like to stay in this area. I have these other areas. So I'm getting this very just chill, just getting all this info. Then here's, here's where it gets kind of cool. The owner of the house I'm currently at is selling the house. I have to be out by the end of the month. So the first thing that should come to your mind is, does he have an agent selling that house? And what if I can make it work where I can get this guy to buy that house and, and be able to, to get both sides of it or, or get that deal without having to do anything? Your mind needs to immediately go there. That's an opportunity. What this does is put you in a ton of opportunities. So if you are slick and think outside the box, you'll dominate these things because we're catching them way differently than any other agent and way off their game. And there's, they're like it because they can hide. They can hide behind messenger and tell you things and not be weird. So just get, get, you know, really think about that. Um, so again, got all that. And then, um, okay, great. You know, how much are you see? This is a great line here, guys. He tells me he's selling the house. I have to be out next month. So now I know he's going to leave. His motivation is a month. 
I got to see how much this Joker can afford. So instead of saying, what's your budget, which these are first time home buyers, they don't even know what a budget is or pre-approvals. They're not going to know any of that. So you've got to go in at them the way that they think, hey, how much are you paying monthly for that house you're at? So if I know how much he's paying a month, I can go with my mortgage calculator. No. And, what? And, and see um, exactly exactly um, what what that would be in terms of, of, a, of a mortgage or, or sales price. So that's cool. So I got kind of that. Then I kind of just toy around here a little bit. Gotcha. Is that your max? Or do you think you go up to a thousand, you know, month? Uh, there, there's more options around that price point, right? So boom, he comes back. Actually, I can go around 1200. Hell yes. So I, I probably most nine out of 10 agents would have settled with this and start trying to find them stuff for 850. And I, I'll bet you I'll give it up to 1500 because he, he he's probably doesn't realize a lot of other things that it's going to be much cheaper to own the home than it is to rent it. So that's, that's where you do is it's just so I'm not asking for emails. I'm not asking for phone numbers right now. I would just like a conversation about real estate. This is what I do for a living. So let's talk real estate. If you keep that mindset, you tell me you'll, you'll destroy this. Um, so again, uh, he tells me all that. Then I kind of throw in, this is for me, I'm trying to find out how much he's, money he's got. This is a little sneaky trick here, but I'm trying to see how much this dude's got. So I'll go in here. Hey, do you, you know, do you have the first and last month's rent saved up? You know, most of these purchase companies require that. So that's 2,400 bucks. That's still not quite 3.5% for an FHA, but maybe there's a different loan program out there. Maybe that can cover some of his closing costs. Who knows? But he's like, okay, cool. I got it. You know, I, yes, I got that pretty much. So now I got a, a guy that that's at least got $2,400. So you can freaking cover earnest money and appraisal. Other than that, we'll figure it out. But at least I have that and I know a different price range. And now I know the areas. So you could go in for the close here if you wanted to, or you can send them properties. Um, a, a lot of tricks that I would do because he has to leave so fast. I probably would go back today and say, hey, look, I got three properties in where the hell? Lake, Lake Geneva. Uh, do you got any time? you know, today or tomorrow morning, take a look at these. Yeah, I do. All right, cool. I, do you have a second talk? I need to tell you about it because one's kind of unique. Boom, got the appointment. That phone call got me that appointment. Yeah, I need to have three homes. Can't, can't lie. So I need to have three homes that, that kind of fit the bill. But I really want on the phone call to find out more. So now he knows it's easy to communicate with me. And now he's going to be able to talk to me and be like, dang, man. But when you talk to them, you got to drop some knowledge. You've got to be like, Okay, what's going on with your current? You got to be a solution. First of all, you got to solve this solution of having to be out. Then, then attack the, the exactly the property wants, what it needs. It, it might end up being a rental, whatever it is, but you got him on the phone. You go and, and you kind of close him as a client. He's going to like, he don't want to keep going around, getting interrupted by other commercials, other agents, other channels. He's like, dude, let's just stay on Netflix. This is cool. You know, when it changes, I can watch this. I can put up with, with Hannah's talking or, 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 or Melody's questions. You know, they'll do it because it's easy. You know, it's not a real, no new agent can be odd. So I know I'm diving deep into this, but there's key factors that I want you guys to understand is this isn't normal. I can set you up on a property search and do this. You'll, you'll shoot yourself in the foot. I know that's probably what you guys have been taught. But if you will throw out everything you've been taught and do it my way like this, you will have success. And this way is just giving them what they want. So there's never bad news. If you say any bad news on these whatsoever, they're gone. They'll leave you. And I think that there was somebody. Uh... I want to show you all one, how it, how it kind of turned out. So this one just came in. This is as we speak. This, this joker just came in. He clicked this. He's here. So he's on her site right now. That or he's clicking through these pictures. One of the two. And this, you'll be able to see this crap live. Sorry. 
Okay, perfect. This is a no-no down here. So cool, they clicked on it. Hey, this chick asked for a showing. Her motivation, she asked for a showing, her motivation's high. I'm sure you guys all would agree. No tire kicker is ready to go do this. So you know right away, your, your ears should be up like, woo -hoo -hoo, 3%, let's go. Get it going, right? So they go look at the property. Um, bingo. Hey, Nicole, uh, this is this was this was at 7808. So this is probably automatic. Hey, Nicole, do you have um, any time this afternoon to view it? I have a few other homes similar to this, to this one you might want to view as well. So all I'm doing is saying view, view. Hey, do you want to view these? Do you want to view this? Because look, viewing. She said the word viewing. I'm giving her that. I'm telling her, we can go view this. We can go view that. So you kind of mirror what they're kind of saying by giving it to them. So it looks like here, um, this, this probably wasn't, I don't know what happened here is what in the system, but hey, that particular home already has an accepted offer. Would you like me to send you other available listings? If you do that, you're killing yourself. Might as well not even do this. If y'all going to do that, don't work internet leads. That's like internet lead number one, no, no. And honestly, the way we train here at Premier Group, we don't even do it on the phone. We get bad news in person. So if this was under contract, we go show it. We go meet them there. This is a 300 freaking thousand dollar house. That means you're ready to go see it. Let's go. I'll meet you there. What time? 5 a.m.? Cool. Let me see my super work. Like, that's, that's nine grand, right? So we'll go do that. So we'll meet them there. Try to take a few others. See how I said here? Have a few others. So I'm going there. I don't want to tell them about them. I want them to be surprised. Then take them. But I'm building that relationship. Now I'm cool. I'm having talks with them. But, you know, we're getting to know each other. Their kids go to the same school. Whatever it is, you're using that opportunity to use your career and talk real estate. Like our job is to talk. Our job is to sell, educate, and talk real estate. So if we're not doing that, if we're sitting back, you know, kind of not doing this or, or waiting for this or, for example, the, the way this, this said, hey, uh, there's, it's unavailable, that you're, you're going to be either you're cherry picking or, or the, the, they're not going to come to you. We got to take it, but we got to take it with value, knowledge, and, and just pure like outwork other agents. You know, if you, if you do that in this, you, you'll never lose one of them as a client, because what, what I've noticed in the past couple months is everyone that we've done and had a good conversation, especially if we've gone and shown them, they don't leave. They don't go to another agent. They don't go look around because this was so easy and so smooth. And what we also notice is you'll probably never text them. Everything will be through messenger after that. Like it, it all just turns into messenger communication, which is so cool because you're keeping them in that platform and you know, once they're your friends, they're going to be liking your business page all the time. So if you get these, if y'all click like on these names, it'll take them, I think over here for, on the desktop, it'll take them to their business page, friend them, friend them, get them the business page, like them. You then are inundated with them. They're going to see all your posts, uh, everything like that. But the thing too is with Can this, I interrupt? Yes. Well, we're here in Wisconsin and we can't even show a house that already has an accepted offer. They don't allow us to do that. So what are you saying that we do? So who, who doesn't allow it? The state, the Wisconsin state? It's not that. It, that's just not how we do it around here. It, it It's always declined. If you try to, to show a house that's under contract, it's declined automatically because an offer's already been accepted. So here in Georgia and Florida, the way that we, we kind of run it is, if you'll go there and call that agent... Hey, look, I got a client since I know you just won a contract. You're in your inspection period, which 63% of the time contracts fall out during the inspection period. Do you mind if I go there and show my client? We might be able to put a backup offer in or be ready if that falls through. As a listing agent, I, I, they might, maybe in Wisconsin, they, they do it, but we hear like, heck, heck yeah, please, because if this falls through, I want it to go right under contract and have a backup. I've never had that happen here. Ever. Carrie, here's, here's another option is that you just meet them at the house, right? So then you can give them the bad news when they meet you because you have a 92% chance that they're going to work with you if they meet face to face. So you meet there, but you have those other properties like Charles mentioned, ready. So that could be another way if you can't. That, that's, do that. that's, a, that's a great point. And since Melanie's over here throwing stats out, 95% <laughs> of buyers do not like or buy their first house they see. 
So if this is their first, whether it's available or not, you have a 5% chance of converging that particular home. So that 95% is out there, you know, where we got to find it or they, you know, whatever. So Melanie kind of brings up a good point since Wisconsin is different. And I think there might be some people in South Carolina, they might be like Wisconsin too, um, where you might just say, hey, yeah, let's go. And then get there and say, look, here's, here's what's crazy. I got this down the street though. It's under contract. It's during an inspection period. It might come back. So I wanted to at least let you see the outside and the other house is just a mile down the road. So the, but again, the, the key thing guys is, it's not the house. We don't care about the house will sell itself. If we focus on the house, we're screwed, screwed because we will be associated with it. So what we always train and what I always do is if someone calls about the house, I deflect too much info of me talking about the house. And there's two reasons why the way their net is right now, they know more than I know because they probably looked at it on eight different websites, eight different uh, aerial views, eight different this. And I don't even know the area, you know, like, so I, I really be careful talking too much about the house. And then if they will begin to associate you like, Oh, well, that's Charles's listing or, or that's Charles's house. So if they, go on the internet again. And you know what? I really don't want to see that one. Well, I'm screwed because they thought that was me. They didn't realize that I do everything. So when, when you do it, you know, and again, based on territory, it, it might change, but the, the whole concept of, of this is so unique and so different that it's going to really, it'll trust. We've been doing this testing on it. It'll benefit because it gives them, we're the Netflix or Amazon of real estate now. We make it easy to do. They can search our website with these. They can communicate with us, phone, messenger, email, whatever you want. That's cool. Oh, you want to see a property? Cool. Now, here's where it gets the best part though is you go on Netflix, right? They give you a seven day trial. After a seven day trial, what happens? All right, time to pay the piper. Time to start making these monthly payments. We're about to start charging you per user, whatever. That's kind of how this is set up too. So like Melanie said, let's just say we go, we meet with the house, then, hey, look, just found out this is under contract, blah, blah, blah. Because if they somehow find out before your meeting that it's under contract, they might say, never mind. But now they're thinking that you got three other houses. Like, well, I don't really want to pass up. Maybe one of those other three are, are good. So let's go do it. So you go, you build that communication. During that time is where you grill them. You find out everything you need because this might be the only time you meet them for a while because maybe you got to get the credit repaired. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe they're not ready. Maybe their apartment lease it up for six months, but you, you set the impression and you get everything out of them while you can. Um, agents will sometimes struggle. They'll show a house and they'll leave and they didn't get all the info. Like, like they don't really know that much. I'm like, well, if you went and gave them what you wanted, they're going to give you what you wanted. You know, they're going to feel that way, just like with, with Netflix. Man, they gave us the seven days. Fine. Here you go. But the ones that don't, after that seven-day free trial, that don't pay for it, you don't want them anyway. They're, they're, they're bad. So you guys who go on Netflix and don't pay after seven days, bad. I'm just, I'm just kidding. But that's, that's kind of the, the concept is you'll weed them out. So you wasted technically one, one showing, which could be three houses, you got to talk real estate to somebody, maybe their friends, maybe their family. So I, I hope you guys are understanding this. Like there's so many prong attacks to this. This isn't, can I help you? Can I, can I, can I do this? Can I do this? This is like, you're looking at every angle. Maybe their moms are wanting to move. You are finding out so much cool stuff because they're going to tell you. So like I said, all the statistics we ran, not one of these uh, buyers went with another agent. Now, not I mean, you know, so far, I mean, most, most of them are, are either under contract or whatnot, but they, they're going to feel cool. So during all this, they're going to tell you, they're going to really shed some light um, on what their situation is, whatever. You might have to go get them pre-approved. That's the time to get them. That is the time to get them pre-approved. If you're kind of trying to do pre-approvals on here first, you're going you're gonna to really run into a roadblock because they don't know you. That's not what they wanted to do. That's not what they asked for. No, thanks. So you really want to get in that that face to face, and um, and have that, that that discussion, and then then go accordingly. You know, if you get pre-approved, that's fine. 
but also too is you if, if that conversation if you're done you talk to him, you got everything and you don't have another appointment set for let's say tomorrow two days don't leave that that conversation that situation without appointments now if they are they do need to do credit repair like you said oh gosh yeah you're gonna get you, you just start your job you got to have six months pay stubs or you something that's a red flag obviously you don't set the appointment you're just going to kind of do more as a nurture but if, if they're like yeah we, we like the first one but you know these other two just weren't and i don't think we like the first one enough okay perfect you guys got time tomorrow afternoon I'll, I'll get you some more and even if you don't know any right then you still tell them you give them that you get that appointment set you can always postpone it cancel it later but you get them to commit to you again right away nine times out of ten they will Okay, unless they got to work or something like that, but you don't want to leave without that that uh, that appointment. Um, so after that, that's done. I mean, you just you're going to have to follow up with these. You know, some of them more be ready. A lot of these you notice they want list of house. So there's two ways you could do this: is you got their email, so obviously you're going to probably drop them in KB Core, put them on property alerts, hit them up like that. The other thing too is. You can, um, because it's Messenger, you can go to like, let's say this is the website, go there, you copy that URL, and you can come down here and paste it. So let's say you went on, um, you went, you know, we went on your KB Core site, and you pulled up four of them kind of right in that area, that price range. Grab that URL, send them in there. If you can get them going back to your website to sign in, then you'll have their phone. Obviously, the email will get validated which it'll be good anyway, but you'll get that more insights on them. Then you can begin doing other ways of communication um, with that. Uh, but again, they're going to want to probably stay in Messenger um, the longest um, with that. So that's going to kind of be it. And you'll, you'll, you'll just have to check it out, fill it out, how everything goes, um, and, and just play with it. But just go into this, you know, thinking to, service them for give them what they want first then you getting what you want because if you do it that way you'll get everything you want and then again don't be uh don't be scared to go show them a house if they haven't said they're pre-approved if if you know they don't know if they're renting to buy something other because you'll go there let's say their sister's with them and she's also looking she's like oh yeah i, I just i'm moving here next month and i i'm kind of looking for a house too so if you wouldn't have gone there, you wouldn't have got that. I have so many stories here because our agents do that. They go on appointments first. Hey, you want to go see it? Cool. When? All right, let's go. That's that's how we train. That's why we, we close so many. They just go. Then they have that conversation. Then they'll decide if they're going to continue, not continue to work, but how that that's going to play out. So the, their, our whole thought process is we, we're real estate agents. This is what we do. You know, we're, we're really not made to sit in the office all day. We're made to go talk real estate, show real estate, do that. So that's kind of how we do it. I mean, some of our agents just wake up and just drive and wait for Op City or Zillow to go up or, and then try to go. So uh, if you guys kind of try it that route, I think you'll have success. And um, you're going to notice every now and then we, the bot gets broken. So like here on this one, it comes out, the guy says prices. We really don't, we're, not, we're going to now, but we didn't have, kind of a, a reaction based on prices. You know, it's just kind of an odd thing. So in this case, as an agent, you will just jump in and kind of start your own conversation. But the, hopefully we're going to start slowly adding more and more so the, the bot will still pick up and, and give them that house because they're, they're clicking there to see photos and price. That's where they're clicking. They're not really um, like this guy. He clicked on that house because he wants the price. So we didn't give it to him, you know, even though he didn't click this, but um, cause he kind of broke it with that, but that's what we just got to give them exactly what they want right then. And then you'll have those long conversations and just, just have them just like texting um, and, and you'll have success. So, all right. I know that was a lot. Any questions? So um, I remember when I was getting my mini chat set up with Chris, he was saying that uh, you have to add all the agents on as like admins to the business page. 
So does that how to give like agents access to the conversations or how do you do so, that? So if you do it, if you have a multiple agents under it, it won't work. Meaning you can have them, but they're all going to be communicated with the same leads by breaking it out like this, like homes for sale, Geneva, that, that agent just has this. It's just her lead. She's the only one that will access it. Same with Greenville, Sonoya, these areas, these agents are just doing it. Now, this, these are, you know, if I had several agents here, like I said, they'd all be working it. So that, that the way it's set up now is that business page is theirs. Um, now, they don't have to, you know, pimp it out or do anything like that. It's just used for, for lead gen, but it's, it's only going to be. Pre- so if you want to add more of your agents, you, you, we'll do it this way. We won't put it under your rosebud. It'll just be under each Orman, Daytona, whatever, uh, like that. So that way they'll have their own app. Now, the only difference is like, let's say they have another business page. Like I said, they're going to have to toggle. So let's say let's say one came in here. I'd have to toggle here to, to message it. If I wanted to go talk to them here, you know, that's the only difference. Make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And then it's um, $10 for any um, page that I attach to many chat, right? Yeah, I think can you, t- I don't know if you can attach multiple pages, but I think it's because it, it goes off listing. So like that mini chat will be for, let's just say that listing I was showing you guys in um, La Geneva, it only matches with that. So like it can't, it can't different what, uh, what ad it is. So to answer your question, I'd say, yeah, I don't know for sure, but I feel like that's a, yes, it can only do one because it, it's just per that listing. Okay. And if you guys, as you're doing it, want to change your bots, just, just email me or whatever and kind of let me know what you're thinking. Like, Hey, look, can we make it delayed this long? You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you kind of see the flow is, um and just do that so when i ran the first test that's what i had all the agents do was kind of give me feedback on that and i know hillary gave me some good stuff with it so um just look and you said we because we can tweak it we can do timing we can do what pops up because i think one thing we're going to do is add it to where the pictures pop up faster we don't even wait for them to hit view details so it's giving them exactly what they wanted because sometimes i bought you know depending on their internet whatever it might take a second um, to do it, but those are things would be cool if you could just throw a little little feedback um, from time to time. Anything else? Yeah, and so you know, Hannah, you how long have you been doing this with these? A couple of days or what? A week? Two weeks? Something like that. Okay, what's your lead flow like in down there in Florida? Um, like, are you getting swamped? Okay. Um, I, since we started running it, uh, we're probably at like 150, I think plus. I think that's where Hillary was too. I don't know if Hillary is still on this call, but she, she did it for a week or so and had around a hundred. So it's, um, it, it can be a lot of volume, you know, but so if you get to where you want us to slow it down, you know, we, we can slow it down. We can pause it. I mean, we can do whatever. So if you feel like, hey, look, I, I need, or I'm going, I'm going out of town tomorrow. Just you just got to email us, you know, and then we we can pause it and 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 keep them from coming in um, because there's some days they'll just go nuts. Like, I, yeah, no there algorithm. Are some where I get like really heavy volume for like an hour and a half, and then I don't get anything for like three hours, and then like nine ten o'clock rolls around, and I'm like getting slammed again, and I'm like, yeah, this is. And we, we, we tried to run some different algorithms on like when, but it's so across the board that, that in a lot of it has to do with, so we're bidding to be in front of that buyer. So like we're bidding to put that Lake Geneva listing in front of them. So sometimes if, if it's the middle of the day and there's not a lot of people bidding and we're getting them dirt cheap, we're like, come on, we're, we're in front of a lot more where some other times it might be more competitive. It, it just depends on, who else is running ads there? Real estate, ad, real estate ads mainly, but. Um, yeah, Charles, the, the last time we did this as a test, I think I had like 150 messages total 
Um, and I did actually get one client um, who I closed with um, in a couple of weeks. What about Hannah? Do you have any under contract or show? I was really, really close. Um, I spent a whole weekend with one of them showing them some new construction and they're actually, it's going to be a listing too, hopefully, but uh, the buyer, uh, she balked a little bit because she was nervous about like paying for new construction and everything. So, so uh, Hillary, like, was yours, did, were they like ready to go right away or was no. it like, it kind of what you just. No, it took a while. So when did we do this test? We did this back in maybe couple, like. It was a couple months. Like April, maybe. Yeah. I think. Um, yeah. And she kept waiting and waiting and she's like, you know, we have some things we need to clean up on our credit. We need to get a new pre-approval. So, you know, whatever. So I just kept her on, you know a little reminder. So I checked in with her maybe every couple of weeks, just said, Hey, how's it going? You know, do you want, you know, she's still looking at properties just in case something popped up. Um, so through all that process since April, um, we found one last month. And so now we, we close in a couple of weeks. And she probably, you know, she probably didn't even think about another agent because Hillary was just always there. Like, cool. It's convenient. You know, Hillary checks on me. It was easy. It was a good conversation. So the, the those nurtures can become easy um, with this, would you say that y'all did a lot of communicating through messenger or did it end up going outside of that? It's, it's actually still messenger. I mean, I've talked to her <laughs> on the phone a few times. And so honestly, we never met in person. Um, oh, so, bingo. <laughs> so we've communicated on messenger for a while. Um, and then they said they, she sent me a note and she's like, you know what? We just went to an open house. She's like, we didn't, you know, talk to anybody. Cause I had told her, I'm like, you know, if you go to an open house, don't talk to, <laughs> don't yep. talk to anybody. Um, so she went to an open house. She's like, we got home and thought about it. She's like, we want to put an offer on that one. Can you do that for us? I'm like, I sure can. <laughs> yeah. And real quick, if you started in April and then you got under contract last month, that was one month. I wouldn't even call that a nurture. That is extremely fast. And Ooh. you never met. So. She, she, and so Hillary probably figured out that she was motivated yeah. By, by working on her credit, like she's like, okay, well, she's working on her credit. She's probably ready to go. So, you know, like, did you, or did you ever even put her in KV core or is it more like you just keep track? And I guess my next question is when you had all those in there, how were you, like, what would you tell another agent to organize them in there? Because it can become a lot. It can become a lot. So you, you got to remember, you know, who, who did I talk to and, you know, what did I say to this person? So just go ahead and click on the star to favorite them. And then that way I would go through and then filter by my favorites. Okay, who do I need to keep checking in on? Um, and then I have a separate reminder app that I use that I can just set on repeat for like every two weeks and just keep checking in on certain people and just, you know, not even say, are you ready to look at houses yet? It's just like, hey, how's your summer going? And, you know, did you survive the heat this weekend? And, you know, just just keep that relationship going. Okay. It, I did, you know, it looks like some of these you can put notes and tag because it does take a second to get them in KB court if you do, because if they don't cough up that email address, um, they typically will cough up email addresses. The phone, it, it just, I don't know, it depends um, with it 50, 50, but I like the idea of starring um, to kind of keep track of, of what's mm -hmm. hot, uh, what's not. And, um, you know, after time and, and it'll, it'll take months and months, but that business page will start to get organic traffic. Like these, like if you see an art, this is our business page. So these are obviously ads, you know, we're the paid ads. This is all just organic. So we've ran so many ads in there that we still, will, we're still running ads obviously, but they'll pop up. But these are, these are just set for like, these are just um, quick responses. There isn't bots at all, but uh, you'll start to get those, those as well. So that's, that's the good thing about staying um, keeping it going and, and, you know, Hillary had success quickly. That's awesome. Sounds like Hannah, you will too. And I think one of, one of the people in South Carolina got one either under contract or sold already as well. So that little test was only what, about two weeks. Yeah. So, you know, it's, you get a, you get a ton of leads that quick. It's just like Hillary said, you just got to kind of stay on top of them and, and they're going to stay in messenger because it's easy. Uh, they'll, they'll, I mean, there's guys and people, there's people in here that, come back like months later like this joker i remember i can see him so much he's been around freaking all the way back to us recent may may 6th and he keeps coming back and back and back so that will happen a lot too and especially 
So let's say after a week or two weeks, probably we run that house in Lake Geneva, we'll grab another listing, but it'll stay in that city, but it'll be a fresh listing. So a lot of times people that, that keep seeing homes for sale, and it's a new listing every two weeks, they're going to keep seeing you. And what we also do on the back end, when they click on it, we're still retargeting them. Meaning we're, we're going to keep running these, these ads and we're running other like um, video ads. I'll show you an example. Um, to, your, to your people of it. And they're not going to be specifically to you guys um, as far as So they're going to be like just generic real estate, but it's going to be promoting homes, um, homes for sale in Geneva, Lake Geneva, homes for sale in Greenville. So they keep seeing it and keep coming back. And that's kind of where the whole. Um, thing. Oh, it did happen. There it is. Um, so if you guys start to see videos, and it's going to be um, first class. And, and then also, so if you keep seeing your own business page, keep showing up, that's it's just retargeting. You just probably got retargeted. Um, here's, here's some ex examples of some of the videos. This is more of about that, but it's going to, these will be more about homes. So they're going to be like like funny stuff. Um, so you'll see them like this. It's going to say homes for sale, Lake Geneva, and if it says sponsored, that's that's us retargeting you. So please don't click on it; it costs us money. But it'll uh, it'll just be like a short video. And it'll have the word Lake Geneva in it just for search optimization. Um, but it's going to be just like about houses, but about what first class does too. So we're, we're also branding ourselves and we keep throwing, even though Homes for Geneva isn't us, you know, it's just a name, it's going to keep going there. So they'll start to associate first class with Lakes of Geneva as far as homes for sale. So that's that's kind of the, the concept behind uh, this retargeting. So... Anyway, like I said, just try not to click on them too much. You can check them out, but um, and like I think we're running about eight right now that will just circle. So whoever clicks, we got pixels set up. So once they click on these these ads, our pixels are grabbing them, and then we'll just keep keep they're going to keep seeing our crap. Charles, did you and Chris um, get the videos that we sent, the selfie videos you asked us to do? Yeah, you know, I did. We, we got them, and in, in, um, I got I got carries today. Um, we're, I, I still can't decide if we want to do that in the first conversation okay. or, or if it's going to be like a delayed one. So if you don't see them show up right away, it's because we're kind of testing on the back end. And sure. if you do, if you see our name, Chris or Charles come through, just know that we're testing something. You don't gotta okay. worry, don't worry about us um, to do it. So we're kind of, the video part was, it, it's kind of weird because buyer and sellers are so dramatically different with the video that we don't know what to do with it. With it. But, um, but the cool thing is with this, getting all these buyers and then start retargeting, it's gonna coincide with hopefully in six months, it goes real seller lead heavy you know, because we've kind of gotten our foothold in it. It's just hard to go and get seller leads 
just from scratch without without having um, kind of kind of sunken in or or even exposure. So that's kind of the strategy of this is to to turn it more into half them be sellers, half buyer. But sure. we're going to be it'll be buyer heavy for a while while we kind of like I said kind of get our foot get our foot in the door and um, you know tweak wise I think we're going to be okay. Some of this stuff bots will tweak, but. Uh, I think this, I think so far, this version of um, with all the automated responses seems much better than the last one. It was just, it was, we had like too many, I felt kind of, well, you and I talked about it before. It was just some of them did. Yeah. You know, I, and I kind of just wanted to get more back to just giving them what they want and not, mm-hmm. bombard, not bombarding them um, with stuff. Because I mean, even if it takes us an hour to get to them, it's no big deal. They were just a message. They're probably still on Facebook. Right. By the time we get back to them. So it's it's not as much speed to lead as like, let's just say a, a, a KV core Internet lead is where they're probably on eight different websites. These these people right now aren't looking on Realtor.com or Zillow at this moment. They're just in Facebook. Yeah. And they're, you know, typically people, you know, we all stay on Facebook a lot. So but we'll catch them. But sometimes, you know, the stats that we have, it takes us almost six times to get in their face before they'll, they'll click, you know, some are right away, but some, but on average it's, it's six times they see it. And then, which is most marketing, they all say like six or seven. So um, that, and then the good thing is most of the listings, we're going to keep around 300, 250 to 350. That seems to be the, the, the hot spot. Um, what, what, what was the price ranges of the ones that you closed or, that you showed and stuff like that. What was theirs? The one that I'm closing is uh, 285. Okay, right there. Yep. So that's kind of where we're going to try to stay. So um, we tested high end, low end. It just um, we didn't see as, as much because um, we can get crank these out. But main thing is we're working on stuff. Just just test test different stuff out. Um, you know, we got if you need some more like ideas or whatever, we'll do it. But just try to get that uh, motivation, price and location, and you just got to do it tricky. They're renting, ask you know, stuff like that, and just think outside the box with these, and they they typically just stay around. Anything else? Good. Okay. Well, like I said, they'll be they'll be cranking up. If you haven't got the app, get the app to get notified. Um, they come through like like Tana was saying. Yeah, well, Hillary will tell you. I mean, it's all day. Um, one thing we we were gonna thinking about trying to do is doing it by at, like in hours, but the problem is like we we could end up missing out on getting a lot of leads for a low price because if we pick those times and there happens to be a ton of people also bidding, we're gonna get less leads. So that's why we've kind of just kept it open and capitalized at certain times and try not to pay too much at other times. But they're 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 coming. But just it's so easy to pause. It's really it's just a so if you guys want to pause, it won't mess it up. I can just pause it. It only takes like an hour, an hour or two to start back up. Um, I think the biggest the biggest thing is just even if people say, you know, not interested, no thank you, or not right now. I was just looking. The biggest thing is to just still engage with them and then favor them and check back in with them in another month. And some of these, if you get unsubscribed, sometimes it's by mistake where they will either come back or if you if you respond it it won't like it kind of notifies them but it doesn't doesn't and they'll re-engage too so you know so some of these people like i said they'll hit these things twice um and it doubles down that's one thing we kind of fixed to where if they happen to do it twice it won't just keep giving them that same listing um but sometimes they'll break it like prices we didn't we didn't think about that like that so now, <laughs> I got to add that one to it, but um, there'll, there'll be times they'll break it. And just like she said, just kind of have the conversation. Um, you're, you're there to help. Just try not to be too realtory um, because you, you got to remember if they go on real.com or, or Zillow, even when they hit contact us, you know, Zillow sends an automatic responder to them. And it's usually like that. Hey, click here to see homes in this area. So it's more, like saying, you know, do this, or you can go see the homes here where this could be more of like, Hey, kind of what you're looking for. You know, it's, you don't need to go and search around all there. I can help you. Um, and 
do it like that. And you'll, you'll have success with this. Um, you know, just in that two week test with this, um, we did across the country, Wisconsin, uh, Jacksonville, South Carolina, and every location had success. So it, that's the cool part. So that, that was a good indicator uh, in Orlando too, that um, they'll, they'll work. You know, they, they, it works no matter where, it's just how you work them. So, well, any questions, reach out to us. Um, if you haven't done many, set the mini chat up or your business page, I don't know who else, there's a few more business pages I gotta create. Just let us know, I'll make a short video of, of kind of where where to go, what to click. It's not that difficult. And then you just connect, then we just connect, connect it to it and then it's set up. That's all. Cool, all right guys, I'll see y'all. All right, thanks. No problem. Adam. Adam. Uh, what's going on? Nothing. I was just.